Your explorer has just set foot on the shores of the New World. During this tutorial, if you're ever confused about what to do next, click on the flashing objectives button. To move your explorer, you must first select him. Left-click the explorer to select him now. Commandment. Excellent. Now with the explorer selected, right-click on the ground yes. near the flag to move him. Well done! Your soldiers have disembarked and are ready for your orders. To select all the musketeers at once, drag a box around them. Commandment. Perfect. Now right-click the ground near the flag. Amen, assault. The musketeers have joined your explorer, and you are now ready to begin exploring. Select all four units by dragging a box around them. Ready. Now, right-click the ground near the next flag to move further inland. Right. Your units are nearing the edge of the screen. Moving your cursor to the edge of the screen will scroll the view in the main game window. Try this now. Scroll the view to the left until you see the next flag. Excellent. He won. Move your explorer and the musketeers to the next flag. Right. As your units move deeper into the wilderness, notice that more and more of the landscape is revealed. Once your units have explored an area, you will always be able to see the terrain, but you will only be able to see enemy troops if you have units near them. The town center is the first building in your colony. When a game begins, you will receive several settlers and crates of resources at your town center. Resources are used to construct additional buildings and train soldiers. Your settlers will immediately start gathering resources from the crates, but you can redirect them if you like. Try this now. Select a settler. Now right-click on one of the flashing trees. Ready. Forster. Good job. The settler will now gather wood from the tree. Settlers can also gather food from animals and mills, and coin from mines. You'll need to gather all three resources if your colony is going to survive. That sound and the flashing shipment icon indicate that you may now send a shipment from the home city. Click on the flashing home city button now. During a game of Age of Empires 3, visit the home city now and then to send shipments of resources, settlers, or soldiers. For your first shipment, it's probably best to send additional settlers to help your economy grow faster. Send a shipment now by selecting the settler. Left-click the flashing button to return to the new world. Advancing to the colonial age would allow you to construct new buildings and train soldiers. You have been given enough resources to advance to the colonial age. Select the town center. Now click on the gold button. Then select a politician to advance to the colonial age. You have reached the colonial age. Build a barracks to help defend your colony. Select a settler. Hi. Click the flashing barracks button. Now place the barracks somewhere near your town center. Richt. Yes, Richt.
it would be wise to train some additional soldiers to protect the colony. For the purposes of this tutorial, you have been given some extra resources. Select the barracks. Now click the flashing musketeer button five times. You are now training a small group of musketeers. Continue to gather resources and explore. Commandment? Hunter. Higher? Focus there. That sound means your musketeers are ready, and just in time, too. Spanish cavalry are on the way to raid your colony. To attack the cavalry, select the musketeers, then right-click the enemy units. Commandment. <laughs> ready. You have defeated the enemy cavalry and successfully defended the colony. Congratulations! You are now ready to go on to the second tutorial called Try a Game. Welcome to the new world. Your colonists have emerged from the town center and are ready to begin work. During this tutorial, I will offer suggestions now and then, but for the most part, you are on your own. Feel free to explore the game and try different things. During this tutorial, if you're ever confused about what to do next, click on the flashing